What's up everyone? This is your truly DJ Red. I know I haven't been doing any tutorial videos for a while. Um, and that's pretty much because I've been trying to stay busy doing virtual stuff to keep my head above water, so to speak. But um, I'm going to do this one here. We're going to show you how to add in sub crates in your sub crate folder and how to keep everything organized still. So let's get into it right now. All right, so as I share my screen here, um, this is just random stuff that I have in my uh, Serato DJ Pro. And again, you can do this with um, with any Serato, Serato DJ Pro, uh, Serato Lite. For those of you that are still playing Scratch Live, you can do that as well. Um, any any one of the Serato platforms you can do this with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something right now. Uh, let's say. 2020 you ha I have my hip-hop my mainstream R&B reggae and rhythms um, some people might consider reggae and the rhythms the same thing though if you have multiple song multiple artists um, doing uh, tracks on the same track or not the same track but um, the same song I would say and you have different artists doing their own thing on that same song then it becomes a rhythm if it's just a single song, then it's just a reggae song. That's how I have it. Um, you guys might have yours listed differently, um, but that's just how I have it. Now, just to be precise, um, shout out to, I believe it's George Map that hit me up on here on YouTube. Shout out to him, and he was questioning how did I have my Soka set up. Um, once I click it down, and I got my Soka folders there. Um, I'm going to show you, and I'm going to start from a fresh one. Um, so, first of all, to make the sub crate, you go ahead and click over here. And let's say we got 18 on that. Now I'm going to. Uh, label this um let me pick an artist uh i'm gonna just put special on this one just for the sake of it okay um now as you can see this is highlighted there's nothing here now you really want to do something and let me see if this folder has it no okay um, let's just say I'm, I'm going to change this real quick I'm sure it, and, and that way you guys can understand it now, I'm not sure if I did a video for this before but no I'll do it again uh, I'm going to just put on here Johnson Wedding okay now just an example uh, let's say I'm doing ceremony, cocktail, and reception. The next thing I'm going to do, add another folder. And the only reason why this is showing up crate 18 every time that I add one, because let me close all of these, and that way you guys can understand it completely. Um, yours will not show up crate 18. Mine only showed up crate 18 because the last uh, unnamed crate that I have was 17. So even if I deleted this, then every time when I open it up, a new one, it will show up crate 17. Okay. Um, so let's go from here. Johnson Wedding. Okay. Now you got crate 18. Let's say we're doing a ceremony. Okay. Now what you're going to do. You're going to drag this right into the Johnson wedding. Okay. Now you have your drop down, right? Cocktail hour. 
Um, I'm not going to do one for cocktail hour uh, because usually I just play that from an iPod and it's usually jazz or whatever the client wants. So let's go with reception. Okay, same thing again. I can drag this up here to the Johnson. And if I want to put it in order. Okay, and you can do this with PC or Mac. Only thing I'm doing is just dragging and moving it. Um, it's not a PC thing. It's not a Mac thing as Serato has allowed us to do that. Um, let's go a little bit further. Um, I usually have special requests that the client might want. So I'm just going to type in request on this. Okay. Same thing again. Now let's uh, drop this down. So now you have everything here in order. You have your ceremony in order. You have reception, which is right after the ceremony. And then, of course, the dancing, you will put your request in there. So that's how you line your folders up. Um, as far as putting sub crate folders uh, into another sub crate. So let's just mix this up just for the sake of it. Um, hang on, move that over. So now you got ceremony request and reception. And you got Johnson Wedding down here, which is at the bottom of your Serato crate. Now, let me go back over here. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, I'm trying to share my screen here, so hang on a second. Let me just get out of this real quick. And if I shut down Serato, which I'm going to go ahead and, well, no, I can't even shut down Serato yet. Hang on, let me go back and let me show you guys something else real quick. So if I shut down Serato right now and this is here and nothing is in the Johnson wedding, it's going to delete itself. The last time I remember, Serato will delete it. It has to have something in the folders. Okay, so let's just grab a uh, song for Mama Boys the Man. I'm going to drop that in the ceremony. Uh, a thousand years. Drop that in request. Tony, Tony, Tony anniversary. I'm going to drop that in reception. Okay. Okay, so all three of them are in there. When I collapse the Johnson Wedding folder, all three songs are in there. And just to let you know, let's say you got the Johnson Wedding and you're putting songs in for the ceremony or something like that, um, you can organize the songs in the order that you want them. Um you know, if you're doing a song for the parents to walk in on and then for the officiant or pastor to walk in on, then the groom walk to walk in on. I'm just calling them out in, in a no particular order. But you can put these songs in a particular order. Just clicking the number sign over here, and you have one, two, three, so I, I dropped them in there like that. Let's say I want to put anniversary as number one. Hang on. Will it move? Will it move? Okay. Oh, hang on. Now, I just made a mistake right here. I'm glad that I did it. If this happens and you're trying to get out of it, just hit the escape button on there. Because you don't want to retitle something else on there. All right, maybe I got to put another song in. Hang on. So let's go to wedding. Beyonce at last. Let's put that in. Ceremony. Okay. Just for example, if you need to put uh, at last first. You drag that up. I don't think, it, for some reason, I didn't think that it would work in that one. Let me see. Yeah, it won't work in the main folder for it, but in the subfolders, it will work. Okay, let me just drag this in the ceremony as well, just to show you that. So let's say I want to put a thousand years first song. You can drag it. Just make sure you click 
on the number sign and then go from there. So now there's something in each one, in each one, and each one of the sub crates, okay? You can close out that crate now. And this is going back on another video that I did. Let me um, get out of this for a second and exit Serato. And no, I'm not gonna do a backup on it. So, let me see. Waiting on Serato to close. And by the way, since I'm here waiting on this, I um, was working on a buddy of mine, MacBook. Let me close this out. Okay, so let me go back to the screen while I'm doing this. Um, I was working on a buddy of mine, MacBook, and um, it's a 2013-inch MacBook Pro and 2013-inch uh, late um, 2013, 20, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied here. It's a 2013 MacBook Pro, 13 inch. There we go, got it out. Um, and I ordered a hard drive for it. He would, he, you know, the MacBook was donated to him. His laptop got wet a couple of weeks ago. Um, a buddy of his gave him a 2013, and it had a 256 uh, gig. SSD drive in there, um, 250, or two, no, 250, I'm sorry, 250 uh, SSD, and he was trying to transfer the music into it. I had to down, um, change some things up on it as far as the operating system and stuff like that. Um, come to find out, it had a 250 in there. He was trying to put a little bit more than 250 in there, and I thought it came with the regular 2.5 hard drive. It did not come with a 2.5 hard drive. It came with some little uh, M, one that they call an M2, and I did not notice that until after I opened up the drive and now I had to order another one, so that will be the next video coming up. Um, switching out that hard drive. I should have that hard drive in tomorrow. So now let's get back on this screen here. I just figured I had to put that in. So um, you wanna organize your crates. Um, go down to Finder. Let me see something here. I gotta drag this back into this picture. Go down to Finder, go to Music. Um, go to Serato. Um, if you're doing this on a PC, just find your music folder for, and that has a Serato in, in it. And um, once you find that music folder, then you can get into this part here. Uh, let me see. And then you would find new order preference. Okay. We're going to move that to the trash. And again, this works for PC and Mac. Okay. Let's open up uh, Serato. Okay, so while we're waiting on that to open up, um, again, was working on that 2013 inch MacBook and uh, found out that it didn't have a 2.5 hard drive in it. Um, but it wasn't a big deal. I just wish I knew I would have gotten this laptop done uh, ahead of time. But it's still gonna work out because he didn't need his laptop back until this coming weekend I believe the 25th or so, so I'm good with that as far as time. So I'll have everything uh, done for him. Now, while I'm waiting on Serato to finish loading, because I'm loading songs here from, um, I keep all of my songs from, most of my songs in iTunes. So it's loading all of my music from iTunes right now. And plus I have two hard drives in this MacBook. So yes, it's, it's doing a lot of work right now. I'm up to 16 gig RAM on here. Um, if you want to know more information about that, you can hit me up in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to assist you with that. Okay, so let's look for Johnson Wedding. Scroll down. Bam. You see? it's Everything is in alphabetical and numerical order. 
It's not down here up on the wedding anymore. Everything is in alphabetical and numerical order, okay? Everything you see here is in alphabetical and numerical order. This folder was the one that I left open. Okay, so let's go back to the Johnson wedding now. Any one of these that you see have the little white icon um, on that crate, meaning that there are sub-crates in the crates as well. Okay, so everything is here in the order that I left it. Anniversary, a thousand years, and there you go. So hope that this video helps someone out as far as um, setting up uh, crates with sub-crate folders inside of them. Um, that way it can keep a lot of things organized. Uh, George, I hope this helped you out. Um, if so, hit me up in the comment section. Um, and if you haven't subscribed and you came across my page, uh, if you know, feel that you want to get more information, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up and hit that notification bell as well. Um, I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos, and I apologize for that. But again, there has been a lot going on um, around me when it comes to being locked down and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of live and um, going from there. I haven't been, I, I just went live maybe last night on YouTube for the first time in a while and don't want to do that too much because I've been getting a lot of notification, notifications about it in reference to um, the copyrighted music or whatever. So y'all can also um, follow me on Mixcloud, which I'll put the link down below and you can subscribe on there as well if you don't know about mixcloud just go ahead and uh look it up we have um when i do go live on that there is a comment section so you'll still be able to comment and stuff like that you can download the app and you can follow me on there all right so i'll put that link down in the in the bottom um if you if you're already on mixcloud you can hit me up on there um dj red d w e j a y r e d d okay so until then I'm going to say peace. I'm about to yell.